Hi everyone. I posted this picture on my Facebook page the other day and I've been meaning to do a video ever since and I've gotten busy doing some other things um, but I just wanted to show you this is that alcohol uh, technique that I did on mixed media morsels and instead of using paint I used uh, these Dr. P.H. Martin's India inks that my husband got me, got me for Christmas. And so I wanted to show you how I used those and how I created that picture. And I'm going to make another one, just make, make it a little bit smaller. And what I'm using is um, the Canson mixed media paper. It's a 98 pound paper. And get this open here. Let's see, I think I only used three colors. I'm pretty sure I used the uh, magenta, and the yellow, and I think it was teal. I think it was teal. It was either teal or blue, and I believe it was teal. So we're gonna go with that anyway. Okay, and um, I watered it down just like uh, we did with the acrylic paint and so I'm going to do that again and I'm going to just spray my paper and mist it, you know, lightly, not soak it, but just mist it a little bit. I'm going to get these ready to go. So, because um, this paper will curl just a little, it's not heavy duty like watercolor paper or anything, so it's going to... Um, it's going to curl a little bit, so I'm going to have everything ready, my alcohol in here. Uh, and I, I'm using the 99% alcohol. It does have a little bit of a better reaction than the 70% does. So any of you um, who want to try it with the other, you can try a 91% or a 99% if, if you're finding that your 70% alcohol is just not working at all. It should work on the, the, the way I did the uh, morsel. It should work as long as your paint is watery enough. If you don't have enough water in your paint and it's not wet on the page, that alcohol is not gonna react. So, anyway, I'm gonna use the 99% and the, the higher the percentage, the stronger this stuff is. <laughs> so I can't do this for very long at a time because it gives me a headache, so. Anyway, let's see what we can do here and um, see if we can make a pretty picture. I, it got a little muddy the last time, so I'm going to hopefully avoid that, but you never know what's going to happen. It's always an experiment. Okay. I'm spraying again because I saw it immediately soak into the paper. <laughs> so I'm just making drops. This is pretty by itself, by the way. <laughs> I love how it spreads in the water. Okay. And so I'm just dropping this on, you see. Um, my water's going into my paper more. You notice how it stopped moving? <laughs> And when it starts running and, and puddling is when it starts to get muddy, so hopefully it'll it'll do okay for me. We'll see. Oops. All right. bit more here and here All right, 
let's see what happens with the alcohol. Ooh, too much. <clears throat> it really moves the uh, ink around a lot when it's puddled like that. And usually what I do, or what I did with that last one, is I take a paper towel and um, lift out some of that puddle so it's not quite as heavy. Put it in some of these areas where, it's, where there's no color. Let's see if I can just drop alcohol in there and see if that'll... Yeah, there we go. I remember going back and adding some additional drops. I did this with... Uh, my grandchildren were over. And we just did our little experiment, this little experiment together. <laughs> and uh, they thought it was pretty cool. really cool. It's very pretty and vibrant.
So there it is, guys. That's how I did that. Okay, so it's all dry. And um, it looks really pretty. I, I like the vibrant colors of these inks. They, they're really... Uh, they're really deep colored and and they're permanent once they're dry they're permanent see how this one's a little bit lighter I think I blotted this one off a little bit more um, than I did this one so it kind of gave it a little bit of a lighter appearance but I really like the the deep vibrant um, colors too I think that looks really cool so So I was looking at this and the colors um, being so dark as like they are, I thought I might kind of try to bring out some of the uh, uh, shapes. I see some flowers and things in this. Like over here, I see like a red, or I mean a pink, uh, like a rose and a yellow one next to it. And there's some here. I mean, they're all over. They look like little flowers. So I think I'm going to just do a little outlining in white and uh, see what happens. want to brighten this up a little bit well 
Well, I'm really happy with that. I'll have to do some more of that kind of thing. I like that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, I'll be back again soon for another video and um, some more of the mixed media morsels. Hope you all have a good day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.